5,060 pounds. One owner, originally sold at Haylet RV. 2,500 rear living Winnebago Mini. Um, kind of a story, it sounds like a, oh, hello, Mr. Crow. Giant crow just landed next to me. Took, see you, buddy. Okay, sorry, I got distracted by a giant blackbird there. Um, long story short, most of the story we can talk about inside. Uh, basically, guys, it's late model. It's very well kept. Sounds like the folks are just done camping. It's the only reason she's here. This is the type of camper you buy with retirement grade in mind, and they use that. I just think that they would have liked to use it a little bit longer before retirement caught up to them. You know what I mean? Whether you're traveling or just getting ready to pack up or, I guess, unpack the RV, it is nice to be able to get through the whole thing like this that we're seeing with the slide closed. And you really don't need the slide open in this floor plan uh, for just a quick overnight stop or something. You can still get to all the kitchen here. You can get to the bathroom, the bedroom just fine. Really what you're not going to be able to get to is just the TV. But chances are if you're just stopping to rub some sleep out of your eyes, you don't need the TV anyway. But right from the door to the bedroom to the bathroom all the way through the kitchen like we've seen, you can get through this whole darn camper and get her ready to rock and roll. Top to bottom, inside out, upside down, and in between, this is clean, ladies and gentlemen. Carpetless, easy cleaning, and obviously those facets were put into play here. Um, asking around, you know, because this is beautiful, and people don't usually buy Winnebago's with the idea of swapping out of them very quickly. So uh, I asked around, and I had a kind of a suspicion maybe there was some sort of health concern involved, and it sounds like that might be the case. Basically, the folks are all right. But, eh, our adventure days are probably just over. You know, they, they could probably still do it, but, yeah, we're good. We did our adventure. And, um, all the windows open for ventilation here, and with the light, bright decor, this type of look is, uh, you know, really what helped us uh, launch our success with Winnebago's towable products and helped us become the largest volume Winnebago towable uh, travel trailer dealer out there. We sell and handle more of Winnebago's trailers than anybody else in the Midwest. Um... The uh, kitchen here, starting with those uh, upper cabinets up there, you can see that they're just excellent storage all the way around, almost like a halo of storage in the kitchen. All pocket screwed, nice long lasting kind of stuff, built to last a long time. Excellent prep space in the kitchen as you see coming down, but uh, also great drawer space down here and plywood drawers. Uh, Winnebago is what I call a more premier product, but it's it's uh, now the outside has some great look with that um, fiberglass that we'll talk about, but inside it's got a much more muted casual elegance, and uh, I, I think that there's a lot of people looking for that. And this white wood tone thing has become so popular, like the Jayco Eagle series now offers an optional uh, interior decor, even up in big giant fifth wheels like this. Nicer materials like a stainless sink like uh, you know, plywood floor decking, like hardwood slide fascia, those are things you're gonna find in here. And this is an awesome giant corner for like big appliances, coffee makers, you know, things like that. Air fryer, air fryer would go good right there. Um, next to the uh, refrigerator, there is a big tall pantry we're gonna see in a minute. So this does have good pantry space. You can see everything that was here from the factory, still here now. Um, you know, all of our original electronics, the remote controls, DVD, Bluetooth player, all that. Storage below the benches, and this can fold down into a little grandkid's sleeper seat, as can the uh, sleeper sofa behind me. That's a little bifold sleeper sofa. Moving forward here, uh, something that I, I talked about this pantry. Let me take a look at this real quick. This also kind of doubles as a hideaway control panel right here. It's um, easy to, like, not see that right there, and that's sort of the whole point, is you're not supposed to see it. And nice little hat box up top here, or I guess whatever you want to call it. Now, entry door for travel purposes, entry door right next to the bathroom. And when you get to a destination, you're not tracking dirt through the whole camper. And even if you did, it's carpetless. So right by the door, we have the refrigerator, we have the bathroom. The number one and number two reasons, no pun intended, people are in and out of the camper all the time. The bathroom is also dual entry and very easy to get to uh, at night, whether you do or do not have guests. Porcelain foot flush stool. And a uh, mirror added by the previous owners here. That is definitely not a factory item. Um, I'm going to guess they just like some extra light and visibility in here. And not that they were, you know, fans of doing toilet selfies. Because nobody likes toilet selfies. If you're a person who does toilet selfies, knock it off. Nobody likes it. All of our doors are fully framed out in Winnebago products. Which is something I think is pretty cool. Now over here in the uh, bathroom area, I like to point out 
They don't drop down to a cheaper plastic sink in the bathroom, thinking that no one's paying attention. They stay up with the nicer materials here, including the nicer, larger radius shower, and uh, including a skylight above. So lots of extra elbow room around that to get yourself uh, soaked up, washed off, etc. One little thing I, I really like in the uh, bedroom more than any other area is the fact that they, uh, kind of like Jayco RVs, you know, Jayco and Winnebago both are willing to spend a little more money on things. They have both vented and louvered directional air conditioning vents right here. And I like that they have two air vents in the bedroom so that if you want one on each of you or two on one person or you want to shut one off and have one blowing on one person or etc., you get the idea. Any combination thereof, you're going to be good. These are made with the idea of a ceiling mount HDTV. Um, that's something that we can uh, help you assist you with if you're interested in that through our parts department here. All kinds of different solutions to various, like where are you going to put the TV in here. And... Um, what was this called? I think this was the cobblestone decor. This is the one decor that was phased out recently. That being said, they had a nice eye for... I mean, that's pretty. That is not the factory bedspread, but that's pretty. I like how that looks. It's got a very nice class to it. Uh, again, uh, central air and heating. Every room going to be very comfortable, carpetless, easy cleaning. And the bedside stands with outlets, so you can run CPAP machines or what have you. Now, you might notice, too, they're using maximum size bedroom windows in here to give you just... A flood of light and airflow so that it always feels nice and big and comfortable and that in conjunction with the lighter wood tones make this little camper feel not little at all outside uh, first thing I want to talk about is the fiberglass skin Winnebago's signature calling card is that they use the highest grade fiberglass available out there it's thicker it has a uh, higher reflectivity you know you can see this mirror like gloss on it right here it's a step above high gloss even this is a true t60 diesel pusher gel coat they use the same skin on this they use on their diesel pushers. That's why I call it that. Um, it uh, does a better job of reflecting uh, UV rays and whatnot. And God forbid, like, let's say you catch a low-hanging tree branch and it scratches the wall. You can buff it out of this and you'd never see a sign of it. Um, they put a maximum size power awning on this sucker. Big old power awning on here. Uh, up under that front pass-through storage compartment, there is a um, oh, gas grill quick connect. Uh, if I stumble and stutter and say, uh, uh, um, a lot, I'm sorry, it is hot, sweating, I've been doing this all day, I'm having fun, I like my job, but it wears on you after a while. Um, there's another, um, aircraft style chassis. This rides on an HSLA frame, high strength, low alloy. What that means in English, ladies and gentlemen, is lighter but stronger, but not less expensive. A higher grade power awning and tongue jack mean that this thing will set and break camp a little faster. We're going to actually take a trip up to the roof to look at that. It looks good, by the way. Black tank flush and outside shower. And this is one of the first brands of campers I saw with separate cable and satellite hookups. I'm starting to see that more and more commonly now. And here's just another good look at that. And you can see that the decals aren't like peeled and flaky as we walk right by them. Uh, the, uh, all the windows are going to open for ventilation. They are tinted, and with the lighter color of the skin here, this thing is not going to be... Go ahead, Brian. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is not going to be a, uh, you know, real hot box of a camper right there. Brian being, uh, Brian being nice and respectful there. He's a good guy. We got good guys here at Haywoods. Just want to make sure he doesn't scream past the camera, you know, with this engine roaring. Roof ladder was actually optional when this was first built, but... Basically, the way that we build these is kind of the way that Winnebago ended up standardizing them. Again, with the incredible success we saw with the product, they said, well, obviously you guys know how to build them right for customers. Let's just do what you're doing. And they made that stuff standard. Um, kind of made my life easier, thankfully. Um, this is interesting. They uh, put like a little um, sanitation glove dispenser here in this extra little storage compartment. Interesting location for it, but not a bad idea, I suppose. Outside TV hookups above the wheel wells here, we do have aluminum wheels. Um, nice little look on it. The tires look good. I don't see any weather checking, dry rotting, anything like that. She's, she's fine as frog here. Guys, there's nothing wrong with her that I can really tell here. The only problem with it's in my driveway instead of yours. Popular layout, popular brand, use price tag. Awesome combination. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. And as one would expect with everything else I've seen, the roof looks pretty darn good. Uh, it's been cleaned, conditioned, it's been kept away from, you know, the worst of the elements. The seals all still look good. It's new enough they haven't had to do any touch-up resealing. Everything up here looks the way it's supposed to. You can see that the vent covers are not, uh, you know, sun-faded and chalked and rotting out and anything like that. The termination strips look good. She looks good, guys. Give us a call. 
800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV deliveries, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. It is hot, and I am tired. Holy cow.